they held on to it and didn't say anything, but they really spoke loudly when they voted Trump in. And that's mm -hmm. how he got in because they, they were like, he's not smart. <laughs> he's not competent. How, how did he become president? Mm -hmm. Oh, and the other thing, everybody, too, you know how teachers get in trouble for talking about who they're going to vote for. I had that yeah. conversation. I, how yeah. I, I had that conversation with them before the they watched this debate. I said, so who am I voting for? And they all looked at each other. I said, right. I didn't tell you who I'm voting for. And then one guy was like, oh, you voting for Kamala. I said, first of all, you're too young to call this woman by her first name. <laughs> but um, I said, so give me evidence as to why you would think that's who I would vote for. One child, well, she's black. I said, no, you can't just vote for somebody because they look like you. What, what other evidence? The other thing and, is true, too. You can't not vote for her because she's because, right. Well, right. It's the both. It's both. Especially yeah. with me. I'm crazy. They say you like everything black, Dr. Ben Toomes. So, uh, <laughs> but anyway, I'm getting sleepy now, too. Um, yeah. So, they, so there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a lot. But I made sure I clarified that they don't know who I'm going to vote for. But they did have great evidence. So what I said, oh, that was great evidence. Like one person said, because you're about the people, Dr. Bentum, you like giving to the people. And, and vice president said she wants to be a president for the people. And that's what you like to do. So it was very interesting. That's a, I, I love how you turned that around, Bonnie. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah. So because I knew, I, I know, too many of us get in trouble for these yeah. dogs in elections now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, cool. I, so I just want to say that the lightning speed stuff, <laughs> now that we have that all documented, it's sort of like you can slow down and let them go into it and go out and do research and bring those links in and there's a lot you can do with the text that's there. Yeah. And some of those quick things I just showed you about control F, mm -hmm. follow, follow one kid through for a while. And guess what I'm thinking about, Paul, as we speak, because you said control F. How about I'm thinking about some of the screenshots that they could take off the screen to talk about um, in, uh, facial expression and how it would read their facial expressions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, can, they can also you could also search using control F. You could search through there were there were a few comments just where they said, Oh, I love how Kamala looked at him when he said that, right? Okay, okay. So you, could, you could search through some keywords like that and you would find things. Right. So yeah. So uh, uh, and on I in say, tribute uh, to September eleventh, somebody yeah. blew up America. It was me and you, Paul, last night with the children. <laughs> we blew up America. <laughs> but there's a lot. There's a lot going. Like I went slow on that for the first three because I wanted to point out all of the all of what's going on. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a lot to study in that in that document. I think both the students and the rest of us can look at what's happening. Yes. We just put in a proposal for, and Paul, you know a little bit about this, but the development of like a teacher dashboard that can help to go through this kind of content mm -hmm. that you would sort of like set up with the things you were looking for and then, you know, provide you data back um, just because of the. Yeah, we can show them this. Discourse, yeah, that's uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we get oh, it. That be a cool thanks. example to play with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this cool. is exciting stuff, and you and know, now you're sleepy though, so you got to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, and and then you know, however, it just really feeds my insanity for learning. 
and my love for learning. And I think that's why I'm always saying I'm really crazy. And then my um, love of being multiplicit, you know, doing several things at one time. It's feeding all of that. Yes, and I think your students have the same thing. So, yeah, just to say. Um, that's cool. Next week, Carmen Kennard is coming. If you don't know Carmen Kennard, Google her. I'll send you stuff. If you look at the announcement um, on the studio, there's some links to her stuff. She's a pretty amazing scholar who um, who has looked into some of the stuff we were talking about last week quite a bit. So yeah, I was reading her blog. Looks good. Yeah. Great. Cool. Good night, Thank everybody. You, everybody. All right. Night, night. Yeah. Be well. Okay. And you too. Thanks. Have fun up there.